Rock and Learn. Come on, people, learn to divide. Let the rock and learn music be your guide. Division isn't hard. You will see it can't be fun when you're rapping with me. <laughs> Yo, man, what's up? How's it going, DJ dude? It's rockin'. Let's start learning. <laughs> All right, let's do it. First, we need to understand what division is all about. It's really not too difficult. Division is used to separate a group of things into new smaller groups that have the same number of things. My name is Nelson, and I'm in a rap band called the Rapsters. The other rappers in the band are Michelle, hi, and rapping Sebastian. Yo, baby. When we first started. Our group had six spotlights to use when we performed. I wanted the same number of spotlights to shine on each rapper, including myself, during a show. That's six spotlights to be shared equally among three people. How many spotlights will shine on each person? This is a division problem. Six spotlights divided among three people equals how many spotlights for each person? You can see that a division problem can be written at least two different ways. Both mean six divided by three. Normally, you don't see the box with a question mark on division problems, but we use it in some of our examples to show where the answer goes. So, how would you solve this problem if you were Nelson? Nelson could say one for Michelle, one for Rap and Sebastian, and one for me. One for Michelle, one for Rap and Sebastian, and one for me. Until they were gone. If he did this, Nelson would find that each performer got two spotlights. But I know my division facts, and I'm good at dividing in my head. So it takes me only a second to realize that six divided by three equals two. After our rap band had finished dividing the spotlights, each rapper had two spotlights during shows. How do you become good at dividing in your head? Practice. DJ Doc Rock, <laughs> that's me, and the Get Smart crew. We're gonna make it fun to practice division facts. But right now, let's do another division problem using my group, the Rapsters. After touring for a while, the Rapsters soon had 16 spotlights. Two bags held the spotlights when the band traveled. How many spotlights should go into each bag to have an equal number of lights in each bag? Sixteen divided by two equals. The answer is eight. One day, though, I saw something that really bothered me and made me think that the bags weren't such a great idea. What happened was that the spotlights were getting banged around and scratched from being in the bags. Some of the bulbs had even broken. So I started looking and found some trunks. Not that kind of trunk. Anyway, he found some cases that would hold four spotlights each and help protect them. If the band wanted to buy enough cases to hold their 16 spotlights, how many cases would they need to buy? 16 divided by four equals four. Notice that these problems show two ways that division can be used. First, division told me how many spotlights would go in each bag to have the same number in each bag. Division helped find out how many items go in each group. Then, when the bags were not working too well, I used division to find out how many cases the band needed to hold the spotlights. If each case held four, division helped find the number of groups needed. So you can use division either to know how many are in each group or to know how many groups there are. Next, 
You will learn how division is related to multiplication and how multiplication can be used to check your division answers. Suppose you had three cats and 12 bags of popcorn. If you wanted to give each cat the same number of bags of popcorn, how many bags would each cat receive? Wait, that's silly. Cats don't like popcorn. So let's pretend that they do. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. You can always check your answer to a division problem by using multiplication. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Because 3 times 4 equals 12. Remember, division can be used to undo multiplication. The parts of a division problem have special names. The number you are dividing is called the dividend. In this example, 12 is the dividend. The number you are dividing by is called the divisor. So in this example, the divisor would be... Yeah, it would be 3. The answer to a division problem is called the quotient. In this problem, the quotient would be 4. When checking your answer to any division problem, you can multiply the divisor by the quotient, or the quotient by the divisor, and it will equal the dividend. If 12 divided by 3 equals 4, does 12 divided by 4 equal 3? Tell me now! Of course it does. To see for yourself, take 12 pennies or some other objects and divide them into three equal groups. Then count the number in each group. While you're at it, try dividing 12 objects into four equal groups and counting them. You may want to solve several division facts by using pennies or other real objects. Using real objects such as pennies or wooden blocks is a great way to practice division problems and really understand division. Actually, there are many different objects you can use. Can I use grasshoppers? Mmm, it's hard to make grasshoppers stay still. What about ice cubes? No, ice cubes melt and make a mess. I know. I can use gumballs. Gumballs are okay, but be careful not to eat them until you finish. We like using pennies because they lay flat on your table or desk. And let's face it, they don't cost very much. Division is something you can use in everyday life, like when you're buying things. Michelle had 50 cents, and she wanted to buy some 10-cent pencils. If the price included sales tax, how many pencils could Michelle buy with 50 cents? As you know by now, the problem can be shown two different ways. Both mean 50 divided by 10 equals... But what is the answer? 50 divided by 10 equals 5, so Michelle could buy 5 10-cent pencils with 50 cents. Let's check her answer with multiplication. Because 10 times 5 equals 50, this division problem is correct. When some people do division in their heads, they do it by thinking of the multiplication problem related to the division problem. 12 divided by 4 is... Let's see, what number times 4 equals 12? Ah, 3 times 4 equals 12. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. But you want to get so good at doing your division facts that you think of the answers quickly. And that's why you should join in when DJ Doc Rock does those funky raps.
let's look at some more examples of how division is related to multiplication. DJ Doc Rock. Yo, man. Why don't you help us out? No problem. Can we have a beat? Oh, yeah. Listen. Fifteen divided by three is... Five. Because five times three is fifteen. Twenty-four divided by four is... Six. Because six times four is twenty-four. Thirty-six divided by six is... Six. Because six times six is thirty-six. Twenty divided by five is... Four. Because four times five is twenty. Eighteen divided by six is... Three. Because three times six is eight. Forty-nine divided by seven is seven. Because seven times seven is forty-nine. Thirty divided by five is six. Because six times five is thirty. Twenty-seven divided by nine is three. Because three times nine is twenty-seven. If you want some more, just say the word. I've got more division than you ever heard. No, DJ Jack Rock, that's enough. Save your voice. <laughs>